In this video, we will review the proper insertion and extraction of crimp terminals into the JAE MX80 series connectors. These handling instructions are the same for all color key codes, wire sizes, and pin counts. When inserting crimped terminals into the connector housings, first make sure the retainer is in the open or unlocked position. Connectors are shipped from JAE with the retainers already in the unlocked position. The crimped terminal will be inserted from the back of the housing. The terminals are polarized, so they will not seat properly in the housing if inserted upside down. When the terminal is properly inserted, there will be an audible and tactile click, indicating it is fully inserted and the first terminal retention latch is engaged. To test if the terminal is inserted correctly, gently pull on the wire with no greater than 20 newtons of force. The retainer must now be closed to complete the assembly process. For the socket connector, the retainer can be closed by hand by pushing the retainer into position. For the pin connector, the retainer is recessed inside of the mating face, so a small tool will be necessary to push it into position. Be careful not to bend or otherwise damage the pin terminals, which are present inside the mating face. If the retainer cannot be easily pushed to the closed position, then one or more of the terminals is not fully inserted or was not properly crimped. Gently pull on each wire with a force no greater than 20 Newton to see which one is not fully seated. If the crimped terminal appears to be in good shape, try reinserting it into the housing and then closing the retainer once more. In order to remove or extract crimped terminals from the connector housings, the retainer must first be pulled to the open position. For the socket connector, this can be done manually by grabbing the retainer and pulling it away from the main insulator. For the pin connector, a special retainer extraction tool is required in order to pull the retainer into the open position. Insert the retainer extraction tool into the designated opening of the mating face. Take caution not to damage the pin terminals inside the mating face. Hook the tip of the tool on the inside of the retainer and pull outward to move the retainer to the open position. Both retainers only need to move around 1.5 millimeters and will not require more than 25 newtons of pulling force to open. If the retainer is accidentally pulled off the connector, carefully inspect it to make sure there was no damage to the part. If there is no damage, reinstall it to the connector. With the retainer set to the open position, use the dedicated terminal extraction tool to release the latch holding the terminal in the housing. Make sure to insert the terminal extraction tool into the correct opening without damaging the terminals. Make sure not to begin pulling on the wire being extracted until after the tool has been fully inserted to release the latch holding the terminal in the housing. If the crimp terminal cannot be easily pulled out with minimal force, the terminal extraction tool may not be inserted far enough or in the correct position. Release any tension on the wire and attempt extraction process again. When reusing a crimp terminal or connector housing, make sure to visually inspect them to make sure there are no scratches or other physical damage. If there is any damage, please replace with new parts. We recommend using designated extraction tools designed and manufactured by JAE to ensure the safest and easiest terminal extraction process. Visit the JAE website or contact us for more information on the MX80 series connectors and assembly instructions.